Hey there, I'm Meg, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add a border along the outside edge of a Canva design. So let's head on over to Canva. So here we are in Canva, and what we're going to review in this tutorial can be applied to any type of Canva design, but I am using a social media post graphic here. It is a square, um, format. So if you are doing like an Instagram story, for example, that's a rectangular format. So just keep in mind the shape format of your file. So there are a couple of different methods and there is some that I recommend over others. So you may think that the easiest way is to search for a frame. But then what happens is one, you have to make sure that your frame fits exactly. So I tried playing around with, I think it was this one, which looked like a square, but as you adjust the size of it, it doesn't totally fit. So you have to make sure that you choose a frame that is conducive to your format. So let's just use this one for example, because it's pretty much, well, actually no. That doesn't have a frame edge. Where is it? There was one that I used before. Here we go. So you wanna find a frame that has that border around it. And you're basically just gonna make it the size of your design. And let's just call that good. So what you're going to do is first you're going to make this picture the color background that you have back here. So this design background is pink. So we are going to change it to the pink and then you can change the border color here. Let's make it purple. And then you're going to position this backwards or um, to the back but I only had one element that this had to go behind, so. Anyway, you basically wanna send this all the way to the back, and if you do have some excess space behind your design, I would just change that to white. So you're gonna change your original background to white. So that's one way to add a frame border, but it's kind of messy and it's not totally precise. So the other method that I recommend, instead of selecting instead of searching for frame you're going to search border so let's get rid of that and we're going to make our background pink again and again you want to find a border that is conducive to the format of your design so a rectangular one is just not going to work because it's, it's already, you, you can only adjust the size proportionally. So we have to choose a square. So super easy, just make the size, make it fit, and you're good to go. So you can probably type in, I haven't tried this, just occurred to me. You can probably type in border square or border rectangle depending on what your format is. And yep, perfect, awesome. So let's say that you are not finding, like you just want a color border. You don't need anything fancy like a frame looking border. You just want a straight up color border and your file is not a standard rectangle or square that Canva has. Like let's say it's a flyer, it's an eight and a half by 11 flyer. The manual method of doing this is to create your border by finding a line This one's usually good, but you'll notice that there is a little, whoops, there's a little curved edge to this, so you want to expand this line a little bit beyond the edge so you can get that straight edge to it. So drag it to the top, and then you can adjust the thickness, the weight, here, and then we're going to change colors Let's do purple. So then what you're going to do is copy. I'm doing command C. If you are a PC user, it's control C and then command V. And I'm gonna drag this line down here. Now, one thing you'll notice is that this line is thicker than this line. It's because when lines, when you adjust the weight of a line, it doesn't adjust it from like, let's say 
this is your line. It doesn't adjust it down. It actually adjusts the line like this. So you're going to have to go back and forth and play around with that. But let's say that this is good. Um, sorry, one more thing. If this isn't good, I'll just show you. <laughs> you're going to have to adjust it down to where you want it. And then you're going to have to copy paste as soon as you get that weight correct. So again, we're copying and pasting. And now we want to get it on the edges. So what we can do is we can click on, what is it? There is a way to flip this. Hmm. I used to know a way to just flip this 180 degrees, but I can't seem to find it. If I do, I will let you know. But basically, if you just... Oh, wait a minute, you know what? So on Illustrator, there's a way to go in and flip an element by 90 degrees. I thought I knew how to do it on Canva, but for some reason I can't seem to track it down today. If I do, I will definitely let you know. But what we can do now is just use this little flip handle and make sure you're at 90 degrees and just pull it to the edge. And you may need to, like if you're a rectangle, you may need to drag this bigger. And then we're going to take this element, copy, paste, drag over here. So that is how you add a border to a Canva design. I hope it helped. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments down below. And if you're looking to learn even more about Canva, including what makes a good design and basically how to make a Canva design that people can't look away from, as well as how to learn all the different features of Canva, check out my online mini course, Create with Canva, which is linked to down below. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.